song by Cat Stevens. Um, I set out to learn this a long time ago and I really needed to practice my finger picking so that's what I've been doing. Practicing that, wooden shedding. And um, with that said, um, there's a lot of lessons out there on this and I really slowed it down, listened to what he's doing because he plays this really fast. So I suggest you uh, use VLC player and under play you can go to options and slow it down. Um, and then you can go advanced options and even set it between two sections you want to learn. So it's really helpful to play along with it, slow it down as much as you need and it keeps the uh, same tunings but it slows the song down. So that's my suggestion for it. So. All right, getting into it, we're going to start out with our D and we're going to stretch up to this A string or A note on the fifth string. What I'm going to teach you is learn it in sections like I did. Get them down and then move on to the next section. So let's learn this first section, okay? We're going to do this. We're going to play mostly the fourth string open, okay? And we're going to pluck other strings with it. So. The first one will be the uh, fourth string open, fifth string, uh, I'm sorry, fifth fret, first string. And then we're going to hit the third fret of the second string. Okay, so we have this so far. And then we're going to hit the five and open three times. And then three again. Alright, so practice this first. Okay, when you hit that other three, pull your pinky up. Alright, just practice it. That'll get your speed up, alright, and then you can move to the next piece, okay? So we've hit that third string on the second, or third fret second string. Now we're going to pluck, we're going to move our pinky down to the third fret of the first string and pluck the open fourth and three together and then two and then three and uh, open four okay so you have this okay all right so put those two together all right now you're going to hit the second string at three and then open four and three. So it's like a, it's a back and forth. All right. So let's take it from the three where we lift up, hitting the four at the same time to the two alone. All right, so this again. All right, hear how I'm going back and forth. Trying to exaggerate it a little bit. And then you put those two together again. All right. Then the end of this lick will go. We're going to hit the um, second fret of the first string in four, and then the three on the uh, second string. So we're going the fourth and first string to the second string. So that completes the whole thing. Slowly. Alright, that's your whole first section. And here's the next section I would suggest you learn at uh, slow pace, but it, it'll, it'll kind of fall into place. So what you're going to do, we're going to play the sixth string, second fret, and the second string open. 
we'll move to the third fret and same second string open so we have this now at this point you can start forming a G chord okay so now the reason I say that is because we're gonna pluck four and um, four open fourth string and the first string at the third fret and then we're gonna hit that second string you can even hit the second and third okay so we've got this then you're gonna use that B note okay because you're forming a G so you want to hit the B note so we're gonna go five at the second fret and hit the open second and it, again if you catch the third that's fine but you want to make this just kind of roll okay and then just lay your finger down play that fifth string open and you're gonna hit the second and again the third if you catch it at uh, the second fret all right see how my fingers just roll into it open fourth string to the third string I'm sorry third fret of the second string and then the uh, first and third string and hammer into the second fret and then hit the fourth and second string again okay so that's the whole roll put them all together slowly that's the whole lick and believe me he plays it really fast um, I've watched him on some live videos and he's not even really finger picking the whole thing just like that he's playing it a little bit I don't want to say easier, but easier for him to play it live, let's just say. Um, so that's the whole intro part, and they go through that four times. One time is an intro, and then he sings with it, go into the chord movements. Um, this fingering is consistent throughout the song. Whenever he goes back into uh, the finger style, it's these same licks. So practice them slow, build up the speed for that. And we'll go over the chords that he does in the bridge and outro. So um, we'll get to that next. Next, when we go into the verse, it's going to be G to D three times and then G to A. So that's the first part of the verse. <laughs> into a G, 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 all right, then E minor to A, and then D, and then F sharp minor to B minor, all right, and then we're back to E minor, so E minor, then A, and then the, we'll hit D once, and then hit it again, and hammer into it. We have this. Uh, let me go through the second half again. All right. So he plays that fairly quick. the verses um, then he'll go back into the finger picking part you'll hear that okay for the little bridge part that he goes where he says it didn't take long to find me we're going to do E full uh, a straight E to an A and then an A sus 2 so to play an A sus 2 you want to lift up the second string so it's open so you're playing 5 and then 
the uh, fourth and third on the second fret, and then the second and first open. Okay, he'll do that three times. Last time, are you gonna stay the night? He's doing E to A and then G, and then you're back into a chord. All right, for the last chorus, what he's doing is he's saying, "I'm being followed by Moon Shadow," and then Moon Shadow, Moon Shadow. So you're just staying on a D here. So then you just keep going. All right, so that's the last verse. He kind of sticks with that. And then you'll hear him go into a quick finger picking part, which we know that. And um, the final section that he really does when he goes um, out of the finger picking part is shadow, and then we'll go moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow, and that's how the song ends. So it's really, uh, I don't want to say it's not too difficult, um, you know, you can strum what I showed you. That's, again, he's kind of doing that live. I, I noticed he's just playing the, the, um, the strings. So, you know, whichever way you find comfortable, but that is the note for note um, way he's plucking it. So I hope you guys enjoy.